Hi, welcome to the first Routeside Toolkit webinar. Today I will give you a brief introduction to the product specifications and all other information you need to get started with your toolkit. The Crowdside Toolkit is a software that enables you to detect and measure multiple phases in a video frame. It must be used in combination with a camera to detect and analyze your audience. Together, we will go through the software setup to help you adjust the toolkit to your preferred scenario. Let's start with the general settings. First are the performance settings. Here you can tweak the performance by sliding the bar to the left and maximizing the performance. This means the toolkit will analyze more frames per second, but the accuracy will go down and there's a higher chance of detecting false positives. By sliding the bar to the right, you're maximizing the accuracy. This means analyzing less frames per second, but lower chance of false positives. The next setting is phase detection constraints. By moving the bars, you can decide minimum or maximum phase to be analyzed. This is an important feature to improve the performance because you can increase the minimum phase size to avoid detection of small background phases that are not relevant for your analysis. The same goes for maximum phase size. Moving to the detected features, you can select the facial features that you want to see during your analysis, such as age, gender, moods, ethnicity, and so on. In the special modalities, you can enable the face tracking in order to gain better tracking performance. The infrared mode is designed for analysis at night. For this, you will need an infrared camera. The Asian mode can be used to increase accuracy for Asian ethnicity analysis. In threads, you can change the number based on the number of cores in your CPU to gain some speed. The show visualization function shows and hides the analyzed metrics from the source view. Once you've adjusted the general settings, you're ready to jump to the next tab, which is inputs. In the source box, you can select different types of inputs. The USB cam and webcam, here you can enter the number of cameras you want to use. A stronger uh, processor can handle multiple cameras. On the right side, you can change the camera resolution. With stream and IP cam, you can analyze a video stream by copying a link into it. With video file, you can browse and upload a video from your PC. Switching to the input settings, in the image box, you can adjust the image settings according to your requirements. With image orientation, you can flip your image horizontally, vertically, or simply rotate it. Increase the zoom by sliding the bars towards the right. If you want to upscale the image, you can do so by moving the bar towards the right side or downscale it towards the opposite direction. This is useful in case the image has a low resolution. With image position, you can use the setting when you want to tweak the zoom mode. Once you've chosen the inputs that better fits your requirements, click on Save Settings. Below, you can see the region of interest. Use the mouse to draw a region of interest within the source view. And use the right click to reset it. Now you should be able, now you should be ready to go to the outputs tab and explore the multiple ways to use your toolkit. By clicking on the fields, enable the socket input output and send processed image data through sockets, you can connect any business intelligence platform to your, or your CMS system to your toolkit. This way you can use the toolkit for different purposes, such as digital signage. By connecting your CMS system to the toolkit, you can trigger custom and relevant ads to the right people at the right time. Make sure the number in the JSON port corresponds to the number in the external application such as when using our demo. Learn more by watching the next video on targeted advertising. The location label is needed if you wish to connect the toolkit to our reporting dashboard crowdfund. Here you can insert the camera name for the location you want to analyze. Then all you need to do is click on send crowd statistics to crowdstats and paste the application key from your project. 
Now you're ready to connect the CrowdSite Toolkit to CrowdStats and get insights into your audience. CrowdStats reports include features such as number of viewers, mood, age, gender, and location performance. You can learn more about CrowdStats dashboards in the next video. If you wish to store the raw data from the toolkit, you can click on Save Data to CSV. The toolkit will dump a CSV file with gathered real-time data daily in the folder of your choice. Keep in mind that this function is only enabled if you run the toolkit as administrator. Moving on to the Scenario tab, you can see the viewing box. Based on your specific scenario, you can enable Show Offset and adjust the head post specifications. This allows you to create the point of interest that is not the camera, for instance, a digital screen or advertising. In the Licensing tab, you need to enter a valid license key. If you're using the toolkits in combination with CrowdStats, you need to copy and paste the application key from your CrowdStats account into the Output tab, as we saw earlier. All right, those were all the settings. Now you should be able to start the toolkit and watch the analysis. I hope uh, you will enjoy our software. Thanks for listening and let us know what you think in the comment section.